My name is Drew Markham. I'm the creative director here at Grey Matter Interactive. Return of Castle Wolfenstein is a semi-retelling of the original Wolfenstein 3D. We start the story in 943 AD, and this Teutonic prince named Henry the Fowler, or Heinrich as he's also known, has channeled the last of the great dark earth magic, and he's been able to sort of manifest this in raising an army of the undead, and he's essentially trying to you know, conquer the world with that. And a thousand years later, they are finally able to unearth some of the remains that they need to put the last pieces of the puzzle together that they need to resurrect Heinrich. As the art director on Castle Wolfenstein, I deal with all the art that goes into the game, I conceptualize the levels with the level designers, and I work hand in hand with the director to bring this game to life. My favorite level is the salt on the airbase. Um, there's a lot of different things going on in that level, and also visually, uh, it's a very exciting level. We looked at old Luftwaffe jet aircraft, and we basically just made it more interesting and more exciting. Depending on the environments, we pay attention to what, what is going on in those environments, and we make the characters look like they fit into them. My name is Corky Limkuhl, and I am character designer. What I'll do is I'll make a, uh, a profile image, a front view, and uh, a back view, and then I'll scan that into the computer, take it into the 3D program and modeling, apply texture coordinates, and then the fun part starts by skinning the character, create clothes and whatever other accents you want to put on it, and then it goes into the game. My favorite character in the game is, is definitely B.J. Blazkowicz, of course. Uh, he's, the, he's the hero. He's the, uh, the American quintessential uh, kick down the door, take no prisoners uh, type of guy. Since this is a first person shooter and uh, B.J. is going to have a lot of work in front of him, uh, we've decided to supply him with uh, lots and lots of uh, tools of the trade, lots of weapons. We do have uh, all the standard World War II era weapons in the game. But uh, the Nazis, being as they were, the uh, ingenious little inventors that they were, uh, sometimes good, sometimes e extremely horrific, we've come up with a few uh, weapons of our own that we feel that, that they may have had in their arsenal. One of which is the, uh, the Venom gun. It's been getting a lot of uh, notice lately, and it's, it's, it's a really popular weapon in the game, and it's, it's pretty devastating. Uh, as well as the flamethrower, it's an amazing weapon uh, used in close quarters combat, clear room bunkers, uh, manholes, and such. As well as uh, the Tesla gun, and basically what it does is it uh, shoots uh, arcs of electricity out, with varying degrees of, of, uh, of damage depending on how many enemies are in the room. I'm Richard Farley. I'm a level designer here at Grey Matter. As BJ, you start off and you, you, you've been knocked unconscious and you wake up and you're in the dungeon and uh, it's very creepy and there's, you know, there's, there's no bad guys around and as you slowly work your way up, you come across the, the crazy scientist who just, you know, has killed your buddy. Uh, aside from that, there's, you know, there's not really much activity. And then as you slow, slowly work your way up through the layers of the castle and there's more bad guys until you come out through this one tower door and again you, you see you see the, the mountains and the trees and the snow and it's just like this big opening of, of space and uh, you know guys walking across the tops of towers and you know snipers that spot you when you come out and that kind of thing. Uh, working in the editor is something you have to uh, get used to where it's, it's you have this program that um, represents 3D space but it's all on a two-dimensional display so you have to sort of get a hang of that. Um, it can be pretty intimidating at first, all the lines and entities and, you know, vertices and, you know, this, whatever other ease you can think of. Return of Castle Wolfenstein really has kind of like World War II meets the X-Files, and one of the big challenges in that is that we start off with this very realistic World War II setting, and we have to move you into the occult and the paranormal. And to do that, we have a secret uh, agency that you work for, the Office of Secret Actions. And when they send you in, they're dubious themselves about the information that they've received. They've heard that uh, these strange paranormal and occult ceremonies are going on. They don't put much credence in them, but they do send you in to check them out because the sources, they say, are reliable enough. 
And of course, as the player, when you do go in, you find out that not only are they real, they're more than real. It was over the top, more than they even imagined.